me, probably the biggest moment in my career was when we got the Michelin two stars. Being trained in the French style of cooking in France, so when that happened, it was one of the biggest moments in my life. We have a motto in this restaurant and it's in pursuit of excellence. And it's a huge time we have in the kitchen, and I have it in my office, and it's just always to remind us that we have to be better today than we were yesterday. It keeps me driven, and I think it keeps my staff driven. Hey guys, 25 people walking in there, you gotta be kidding, call the fucking door. We have expectations of what we want to buy. We know it's in season, but we're never committed to a one farm. We're always open to who has the best product. When I grab something and taste like that, if I have to have another one, then I want to buy from that stand. Right now it's the salmon season. It's California King salmon season. It's amazing quality. So I thought it'd be nice to cook something seasonal. So it kind of inspired me, and I was thinking, you know, we had the nice eggplants in the summertime, and the cherry tomatoes are so beautiful, and that basil smelled so good. I just kind of wanted to do something very simple that was pretty easy to do at home, and you can get most of the ingredients anywhere. I cut a nice big slice of it. What I did was I seared it in a pan with the skin removed, but on the skin side down. Took it off, I put it on a tray that was ladled with olive oil. And I popped it in the oven at 350. I cooked it in there for like two minutes. I removed it, I let it sit out for like a minute and a half, two minutes, and I put it back in for two minutes. So what I'm trying to do is cook it slowly in a way that's not totally changing how the salmon is made up. So I don't have a lot of that white stuff coming out and I didn't change this color. So it's very tender and flavorful, but still it was like eating raw fish that was cooked. So I kept cooking it in and out of the oven till it was warm through, made it really buttery and tender. And then I served it with just eggplant and I just saute those in a drop of oil so it doesn't soak up and become a sponge. So I sauteed the eggplant, seasoned lightly with a little salt, added the tomato water, then I added some olive oil, and some peeled cherry tomatoes, and some basil. And just cooked that together until it just barely cooked through, and that's all I did to that. The part that makes me so excited about that is when I slice that down the middle, I see that beautiful inside cook perfectly, just shimmering and trembling. It's like, wow, I did it perfect. Any beautiful sunny summer night would be perfect for me to eat that dish, I think. It's just enjoyable to sit out on a patio at home or on a balcony and just have that. Sounds amazing. Nicely browned. Just kind of mix it up. Add a little bit of chicken stock, butter, and olive oil, and I just threw it in the oven and just let it finish cooking until it's cooked all the way through. At Melise, it's so different. Everything is exactly like planned out to the detail. And cooking like that is so fun to me too. Just throwing it together and just making it come out delicious and fun. Mm -hmm.